I too want to thank everyone for being here, even staying till now, uh, for us to talk a little bit about uh, what we spoke about in the uh, Economic Development Roundtable. We had a great group, and uh, it was really interesting. Probably the major theme throughout it was information sharing, but tribes come together to learn from one another and then sharing information. And as tribes come together to share information, they'll build trust with one another and be able to take on issues that impact not only them, but other tribes and other communities. And this was stated that they would like to see NAU, uh, probably kayak hosts, maybe quarterly workshops of bringing these tribal economic development directors together or tribal AD people, community planners together so they can have a, a forum where they can share information about projects they're working on and gain information from other tribes. Uh, as the more we fleshed out the idea, there's also the part in there about training. Uh, there was a lot of a discussion on, you know, what is economic development and, and how can a tribe uh, put itself in place with their tribal government to allow economic development or community development to take place. You know, how, how and I think it goes in line with some of the things that uh, what uh, Dr. Begay said earlier about the Native Nation building concepts and how that really takes a, a, a major role, especially for tribal leaders to gain value in that and allow this project or uh, process to take place. So as we talked about how to come together quarterly, uh, it might not just be information sharing, but might be also a possibility to provide some specific training in there. But one of the things that I think left the biggest impact in our group, and I don't know if everyone caught in our group, is uh, a, a tribe shared uh, a, a, an example of information sharing, how they work with another tribe, and how it greatly impacted their financial line up to a million dollars. And that's one tribe learning from another tribe and how much better off we could be if we could take some time out to learn from each other. Some of the other comments that were made, I think our group also talked about, but I really want to hit home uh, the importance of sharing information and us working together. And I know uh, this is gonna be something that Kai, that we're gonna take on uh, this task of bringing us together and, and working out how we can provide more opportunities for information sharing. One of the things that we do do is when there's opportunities for tribes to learn from one another, you know, I'm, I'm never opposed to taking a tribe out to meet with the tribe. Uh, the only thing I ask is that the tribe, you know, share the information that, uh, you know, you, you, would, you would return for another one. Uh, something that uh, happened about 10, 12 years ago, we used to have a, a tribal leadership uh, a conference here. We bring in a tribal leader to speak. And at one time we brought in the San Manuel chairman, uh, Daryl Marquez. And it was really interesting. Uh, their tribe, uh, when uh, White Mountain had these fires, the next day when they were out, they, they gave them a million dollars. When, when uh, Havasupai had some of these floods, they showed up and gave, and gave him some funds. And it's really interesting. The one thing he said that stuck with me till then, he said, the reason why we do this is we don't want to see you fail, but don't let us fail. And I think as tribal nations practicing our sovereignty, we need to have that attitude. We don't want others to fail, but vice versa, don't let us fail. Once again, thank you so much for being here. Uh, our goal is we're gonna Tom and I, Tom Conrad, who is helping me out. We're gonna write up and we're gonna we're gonna put these notes back out to our to the ones who are participating in our table. And I would ask that you, you know, my group hold me accountable in this quarterly meeting. You know, I, I'm not opposed to that. That's one of the reasons why I'm here. I really want to provide this service because I really want to be one of the leading institutions serving Native Americans. Thank you.